it's sure it's beautiful in here, Timmy. I think I think the playground might be nice to hang around here. Huh. I wish Pinocchio would have been here. Unless he could be supervised Geppetto, who can take him here? Well, since Geppetto doesn't know this place, perhaps I can guide Geppetto and Pinocchio here so they can play. And we all can play together. <laughs> now, let's see what's on the sign. Welcome, have fun and play safely on this miracle playground. This play structure is designed for kids ages 2 to 12. The smart way to play. One, take turns on all play equipment. Taking turns is like searing, you know, searing turns. If someone wants to go first, you have to be considerate, you know. Being considerate means never be selfish. Selfish means about you only thinking of yourself more than instead of others. Without thinking of others, it could be a disaster. What's the opposite of selfish is unselflessness, you know, unselfishness or selfless. You know, selfless and selfish. So you get the difference if it comes to pronunciation. Selfless is a word for unselfish. In order to share turns, you have to be unselfish. For example, if someone wants a turn, you have to give it a turn before you, your own. So it requires patience. And two, no pushing, shoving, or rub stuff. You know, pushing is like this, or shoving, that's like bullying. So you don't want to do that, because shoving and pushing can, other kids can get you in trouble. So that is a really naughty thing to do. Well, not, not, not just naughty, it's wrong. So all you have to do is be nice to others. No pushing or shopping or rub stuff like you're going to hurt somebody. I understand that you want to play, but we all have to play safely and carefully without hurting others. That it takes caution and we have to take it easy if we have if we want to play. And three, be careful when the equipment's wet. The reason it says when the equipment is wet, that means it could be a rain. Some of the playground might be wet just because of the rain, so I, you have to be careful unless you have to bring your own ta old towel or washcloth in order to wipe the equipment dry. That's why it says rain, because sometimes it could be raining wet Thursday. Okay, and four, use the equipment correctly. See recommendation on reverse size for fun and safety. If we follow directions that tell you how do we play with the equipment right, then we gotta follow these directions because it's always important to follow directions. Without follow directions, it could lead to a clumsy mess. And if you follow the directions good, you feel good and great about it. And it makes you like perfect. And above all, have fun. Adult supervision required. Adult supervision means like if you're younger than 12, you gotta let the parent or adult relative to supervise you, you know, stay with you. Like if you have a mom, dad, uncle, aunt, or grandparent to supervise you, or any of your relative's friends to supervise you. So it doesn't have to be relatives. It could be a relative's friends, the friends that their relatives known them for years before you were born. And that will be all right now. I like that name, Miracle Playground. Miracle sounds like a magical word compared to Disneyland. I wish Disneyland would have playground outside of Disneyland. It might be fun for the kids. Speaking of fun, come on, let's try some. Oh, <laughs> there it is, guys. You see this? Attention, looks like there's a warning on the back. Let's take a close look. Attention! Warning! Installation over a hard surface such as concrete, asphalt, or packed earth may result in serious injury or death from falls. Uh-oh. If you see the playground somewhere here, look! See? 
only the sand maybe look like a soft uh, but dusty grain ground, but the blue one is a hard surface. It's hard. Okay, to avoid burns, parents and supervisors should check for hot playground surfaces before allowing children to play. You know what that means? If any equipment is feeling too hot, like metal, all because of that sun, in case of intensive heat temperature, if you feel the equipment hot, that hurts. So you don't want the child to touch any hot equipment that feels too hot like cast iron steel, it hurts you. So that's why children must have supervisors like aunts, grandparents, and the mom and dad. So always check before you, you let the children play or not. And two, to avoid strangulation, do not wear helmets, necklaces, or clothing with hoods, cords, or drawstrings while playing playground equipment. Hmm. I don't know about strangulation, but I thought helmets might be safety if we don't want to get hurt. But we just gotta follow the rule. Okay, do not play on broken or damaged playground equipment. Report broken or damaged equipment to maintenance personnel immediately. If you see any playground equipment like a slide or a swing that seems broken, it's okay to report. So if they can fix things right, here you go. Do not walk up or climb on slides. Slide feet first, face forward in a seated position one at a time. You know that, do not walk up, it means do not walk up or climb on slides. So that's a slide and that's a person. So walking up or climbing up the slides is a, bad, it's a dangerous thing to do because you know you might get hurt. Okay, if it's a person just feet forward, face, and then slide here. So this is what it looks like. Let's just pretend this is a slide and there's a person. It's like a feet forward and a face, or I imagine the person here. Like feet forward, face forward, and then a slide right here like this. So you know what that looks like. And kids, so you get the idea what the rule means to you. Okay. Do not climb on or over safety rails. Rails on the ground. Walls, walls. Barriers, barriers, roofs, roof, roofs. You know, roof as in a roof on top of the house like this. Or swing frames, you know, swing frames. Okay, do not climb on or over safety rails, walls, barriers. Oops, I'm afraid I repeat that. Oh, there it is. Okay, do not run on, jump off, or dive off playground equipment. You know, like don't jump off from top of the playground because you don't want to hurt your feet or, or get your ankle or feet fracture. So it's better not to do that. And no running on equipment, just walk slowly. And here, do not walk or climb on top of overhead ladders, monkey bars. Use overhead ladders one rung at a time. You know, you know, monkey bars, as in, like, this is monkey bars, the one like this. You know, like, do not walk on. So this is a monkey bars, do not walk or climb because that would be dangerous if you happen to see the make, you know, the Mickey Mouse Educational Playground Safety. If it's an old one on YouTube, you can find it. Okay, swing in a seated position and do not twist change or jump out of the swings. You know, don't twist like this or jump or jump out of the swings. It says, do not means no twist change and no jump out of swings. That's what it means. Do not is the same thing as no. Now you know these rules. 
And now that we understand the rules, let's. it's better to cooperate these rules better. If you want to be a good rule listener, come on, let's go for fun, but safely for now. Come on.